Okay. And what is the title of our next um, great plan? It is Koi no uh, Botan Saksen. Is that just button or something else? The button of love plan. Button, love, love button plan. Yes. And here's our senpai walking with some other girl. Um, Suki o mite tote kita, which is a gap, a like cheek in his armor, kind of. We can see a cheek in his armor and it's time to take the chance. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to translate in English. Like there's definitely a great way to do that. But you know, <laughs> basically he's open. Let's do it. It's our time. And Archie, next line. Tsukete uh, agete kokando afta? Afta. Afta. Hi. Um, it's easier to start on the bottom half for this guy. Right. So uh, I think that one was like likable. Mm -hmm. um, afta. Yep. <laughs> it's like Let's... your likability rating goes up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and to get that, what does that normally mean? Um, to get get Is that also just like, like, it'll go up, right? Kind of. It kind of means like to attach, to get there. So like attaching like ability to you, which levels up. Because gotcha. kind of. like right now he doesn't really know about her. He's like, who's this girl? Uh, maybe I gave her her pencil case once. Mm -hmm. so, time to make her like ability rating level up. Goes, ano, Minato senpai. And then a different girl goes, ah, Minato kun, button torete ru. Which is, oh no, Minako, Minako, your button has been torn off. And Archie, what's the next button? Uh, honto da, it's toretan daro. Oh, really? Uh, like when, when did it fall off, I guess? Yes. Watashi no button, shikatte, kore mo kochi da! So use my button, no mine, mine! I shall become Minato-kun's button. <laughs> yeah, that was quite quite the failure. <laughs> and what is the next grand plan, Archie? Um, obento saksen. So, uh, lunch bento plan. And what does Hanako-kun say? Uh, Natsu yasai o obento ni shite watasu. Mm. Um, so like the summer, summer vegetables of, uh, will like make a bento using summer wedge vegetables. And then watasu. Um, and like give it to him. Yes, exactly. Right. Uh, which is a normal bento, bento is kind of boring so like let's make a character bento oh, oh my that's something ah it's like oh is that from a girl i'm jelly um <laughs> and Archie, what does he say after seeing this box? Um Otoshimono uh Dato Omo Todoke Te Kure. Um What is an Otoshimono? Um, something that's lost. Yes. That did is that some, like did someone lose that or 
So to omo comes from to omo, which means to think. So he's saying, mm -hmm. I think this is a lost item. So, uh, <laughs> what does that part mean? I'll, I'll go like give it back. Yeah. And what does the kudu add to this? This is just a little bonus question. Oh, um, I guess like I'll go and give it back, I guess. It, it means I'm going to go and I'm going to come back. Oh. <laughs> so we use kudu when you're doing something. In the case of using kudu, it means you're going to come back at some point. Mm -hmm. So if, if you said todoke te iku, for example, it means he's going to deliver it, but he's not coming back. He's like, I will never see you again. <laughs> if you said iku. But kudu is like more normal. So like if you're going to like the toilet or something, you're going to be back soon. You use kudu when okay. talking about yourself. So that's just a little extra little thing they add in Japanese. That would be nice to point out. Yarisugita, which is I overdid it. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it's the overdoing it that's the problem, but more um, the uh, what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a failure. And look, look at him like reading his love book. He's like very like, I got it. I got it. Um, what's our next saxon? Um, koi no magari kado saxon. Mm. Um, Kado is corner. Okay. Uh, Magari is like, I guess, just around the corner. Yeah, basically. Around the corner plan. Love. So, you love. know, like how in, like, do you see what's in her mouth right here? Um, there's Kado. something in her mouth. Is that Kado. a book? It's, it's supposed to be bread. Oh, so like you know the joke with the anime girls running with the piece of bread. Yeah, I yeah. need him late, and then they turn the corner, and then they like bang into the guy they like, and they're like, "Oh no, I'm so clumsy." <laughs> so that's that's what this is the going around the corner love plan. <laughs> so that's why she has a piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> so someone's been watching too much anime. Um, orega aizushitara kono ka kado kara. Which is when I give you the signal, then from this corner, you're going to come out fly flying. And Archie, what is this? So this is the signal. Yes. Right now is, is the signal. And of course, she assumes right now imada with how bold he is uh, that was the oh signal. i was just going to ask is like imada the, the 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 phrase is the signal yes you know what because okay. right over here we have a te okay. Okay. which is the quoting te so imada te iu no ga aizu so iu a lot of times uh will be used to tell you the name of something or the signal in this case is the phrase imada imada Oi, Kotobu no Joshi to Chutobu no Danshiga, Shotochitazo, which is, oh, the, a, a high school girl and a middle school boy have done a collision. So obviously, she didn't hit the, the tall senpai with the short little midget right over here, whole head shorter than this guy. Um, funnily enough, I don't know if this is actually a middle school student. Because I feel like this is the kid that ha gets a crush on her later on in the book. Because, like, oh. that weird thing he's carrying in her hand is, like, very, like, looks exactly like the weird staff that guy, I don't remember his name, is supposed to carry. Okay. Um, so, yeah, they did a collision. And, Archie, what's this? Um, Danshi no ho kai dan uh so the um daijoubu is like are you okay um
Oh, okay, roll. I'm <laughs> you mean he like oh. fell down and like rolled over? <laughs> yeah, koragatte means to kind of roll. So he, he rolled down the, the kaidan, the stairs. <laughs> the stairs, okay. <laughs> Are you okay? The boy just okay? fell down all the stairs. <laughs> Is he okay even though that happened? Shippai. It's okay. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Hanako is pretty like surprised by this. Mm. Like, oh my goodness. And mo zenzen dame janai, which is like, come on, everything's like totally bad. Like nothing's working. They're all dumb it. Um, saigo wa otashi no tokugi kanke nakatta shi. Not only that, the last thing had nothing to do with my specialty. I don't know. She's pretty clumsy, so I feel like that's kind of a token. tonight. It is not eh. And then Archie, what does this say? Uh so um so mawari kudo is um it's kind of what you think would mean but like metaphorically so what does mawari kudo mean do you think like to go around so yeah it's like a go around but like a situation so it's like being roundabout so mm-hmm. rather than going straight and fixing the problem, you're doing some weird plans and you're going on like a side trip, you're going on a side trail. Basically. Right, right. So like after all of this, like going around and, and a bunch of things. Um, So tettori is kind of the gyaku of the mawari kudo. Um, it kind of means like simple or quick. So rather than doing right. a roundabout okay. way of doing things, it's going straight to the problem and just fixing things. Mm, that- Okay, tettori hayaku, so quickly. Yes. Mmm, ja, kokuchao ka. Which is, well then, why don't you just confess then? That's that's the most direct I could think of what you could do. Kokuri, <laughs> that's impossible. And what does Hanako's response to that? Uh, demo sa, uh, ore mo, uh, Hi, So in this case, it's kind of like anga nai, kind of. Uh, okay. Theoretically, it's anga aru, I believe, because shika is like weird, but like. Mm-hmm. I think it's easier to understand what it's saying with the nai. Um, demo sa. What does that mean? Uh, demo sa is like, but. Yes. Ore mo. What does the mo kind of give that meaning to? Like, uh, I too. Yes, I am also. A shoshinsha. So shoshinsha starts with, you know, like saisho no sho. So mm-hmm. what do you think shoshinsha means? It also has sha, like person. Saisha. <laughs> yeah, sha, like person, uh, which is normally read as mono. <laughs> so I was like, what, what has sha? What's the sha version? Uh... Not sure of this one. So it it gets with beginning and person. So it's a beginner. So 
Hanako kun doesn't uh, have really experience with love or anything. This is his first try of getting some kind of love thing going on. So yeah. because of that, mo sore gurai shika an ga nai. Uh, do you know what an an is? Um, no, I'm not familiar. So an means idea. An. I feel like with that, you should probably be able to do it. Mo sore gurai shika an ga nai. Okay. Um, so, like, I don't have that much of an idea about it either. Basically, it's saying, so, uh, other than what we've already done, which he's done, like, three plans, <laughs> there's nothing else. I have no other ideas. So he's saying, I have no ideas other than what we've already done and kokaku chao no. That, that's it. That's, that's all the ons. There's nothing else. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and then she goes, Sho, shoshinsha? you're a beginner. Because remember in the beginning, she was very much like, oh, Hanako-kun, he's a wish-granting ghost. <laughs> he definitely has such experience. But nope, he's a shoshincha, which is a beginner. And Archie, what does this say? Um, it says, uh, ore wo yob, uh, yobu, yobu hito mo, uh, yoberu, yoberu hito mo, naka naka sugu naku te sa. Um, Remember in the beginning when we had uh, yobi dasu? Yeah, so that was like to call. So um, yeah. when I when I called and so, called, this, this is kind of like saying he. Oh, uh, sorry. Hito wa ore o yobu is what's going on for that. Oh, so when you like called me? Yeah. So so humans who've called me. So I, in this case, I believe it's like humans I've called. He's the yoberu, I think mm -hmm. is the passive form, but I could be wrong, but that's kind of what I, I, I think he's saying. Mm -hmm. So basically people who've called me or called on me or whatever. Uh, naka naka tsukunatte. Tsukunai. Um... there a lot of them or a small amount of them? Oh, there's not a lot of them. That's all it says. Naka naka is basically like an about kind of word. Mm, okay. And sukunaige is a few. Just a few. And the sa is just kind of like yul. Hmm. Like, you know, kind of sa. Um, it's like a little bit different, like when you use one or the other, but like the meaning's the same. Um... Dori de hen da to omotta no yo. So she, she's kind of saying, Oh, I was thinking these were really weird, like the weird hon and the weird yasai thing and uh, saiho sewing. I don't know what's weird about sewing, but we had any <laughs> plan with that. Um, I think she meant like rori or something here, but something was weird from the beginning. Um, and this part, Archie. Obake no kuse ni, uh, no mono shika dasanai shi yari kada yari kata ga kenzen sugir shi. Right, so first off, obake? The uh, ghost. Kuse, kuse ni. Um. Saying, not sure. So kuse is kind of like saying, um, in this context, you're like it, you're just a ghost. Like even though you're a ghost, kind of. Uh, okay. It's very like rude. So you would never say like this as a complicate because kuse kind of comes from habit. So mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like a metaphorical of like a bad habit almost, but it means like 
you're you're a ghost it's kind of like spitting at somebody <laughs> like oh. even though you're like a ghost um futu no mono shika dasenai well das ashita um it's dasenai because of shika right like shika's weird but like uh if this was like futu mono dake dasu would be um the other way so shika just gets nai after it um so like usually mm. so what is mono in this oh they so they usual like yeah. things. so usual things so she went to a ghost even though it's a ghost he's like yeah i got a cool little love book got vegetables um these are things the ghost is giving me what Where's your special duel or wiggly woogly weird <laughs> things? It's, it's so futu. Ah, uh, okay. It's and like... yarikata is the way in which you're doing things. So mm-hmm. that's just talking about the way how he's trying to grant her wish, basically. And also, ken, kenzen sugiru. Kenzen kind of means like healthy, apparently, according to Annie Kenny. Um, so it's kind of like you're like too. I wonder if there's like a metaphor for Kenzin. Like, I feel like it's like, le- like he's in too good spirits, but then that sounds kind of weird. Oh, mm-hmm. Too wholesome. That's a good way of putting it. Like, okay. you're doing a ghost, right? Shouldn't it be like creepy or like with some kind of doll or something? Like, where's our dark magic? It's too Kenzin Sugiru. You know? Got it. <laughs> Blackmailing him for me and him getting together. Like, what is this? And um, this is some good reading practice for you. Looks pretty hard to read. Ore, tsute, or orete, probably. Um, yeah, that's definitely the te. Orete, uh, um, Ken, Kenzen, nice. Kenzen na, um, Hanako san da kara. Because I'm the wholesome Hanako san. Wholesome Hanako san. Shoshin sha na dake desho, which is, you're just a beginner. It's not even that you're so wholesome, it's just you don't have any ideas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, he says I also have um tools that's fukenzen. Fukenzen. Uh I have forgotten what fukenzen means. I feel like it's like fuzakenda, which is like stop fooling around, but that mm-hmm. would not make sense in that context. So I'm gonna Google that real fast sorry for the time it's gonna take i am curious who can who can then morbid (laughs) so we're doing the opposite of the wholesome the uh Kenzen, and now we're doing fu. Kenzen, because when you add fu to things in Japanese, this is easier if I saw the kanji. Fu, when you add things, makes things kind of un. Mm-hmm. So you see, Kenzen is exactly the same when you got fu. Kind of like fu, fu add, make, adds like the opposite of whatever goes before. It's an un word. Mm-hmm. Okay, and these are definitely um, very. Uh, morbid i mean unhealthy i don't unwholesome uh sexy magazine some weird little sealed charm thingy i don't know cow a wish thingy oh my yeah hi nani kore (laughs) what is this kokeshi which is which is what that is it's a kokeshi some kind of doll thing de which is like the and in this case like, what do you use it for, or whatever? De. Choto eroi. It's, it's a little sexy. Uh, Considering he had a sexy magazine, 
It's interesting that he picked mm. the kokeshi as the eroi. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes, y- yeets it out of there. Oh, no, my my sexy doll. Um, so what does she then say, Archie? Says, um, sekkaku, uh, negai ka, uh, kanao to omota no ni. Um, so like, I thought you could grant my wish. So that is what it's saying, but rhetorical. So how would you rephrase that? Um, rather than you, you would say, oh, um, sorry, I didn't, I didn't, um, so it's kind of like saying, um, more like, uh, even though I thought my wish was finally going to be granted, I would say uh, like more okay. accurate for like, cause she's not like saying, oh, I thought you were going to be able to grant my wish. It's more just like okay. thinking to herself. So like, Bold. Oh, I thought my wish was being granted. <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I thought for sure my wish was about to be granted. I just, I feel like that works better for the thinking to yourself than the thought you were going to grant it. Like sometimes you do think and be like, you could be like something someone thinks, but I feel like as a reader, you'd want to like avoid that almost. <laughs> so you wouldn't confuse someone and think she's talking out loud. Um, Hanako-san ga otoshita no kana, which is, I wonder if Hanako-san dropped it which is a little package with the seal on it. And this is going to be our last page of the night. Oh, kira kira, super sparkly. Hanako-san, kore nani? Hanako-san, what is this? Sore wa en musubi no en musubi. So that is an en musubi. So en musubi is kind of a hard thing to translate into um, English. It kind of means like a love charm kind of um so this is some so but like that's kind of like what it means it's some kind of love charm uh so i guess it's not that hard to translate um a lot like sometimes they'll say like they'll use it when someone gets married like you tied the knot like how we say that in english they can use that with that so n is like eternity i think and moose would be like to tie but it's also used for like Uh, i think it's like this thread of fate kind of thing i feel like it's yes. an anime thing too absolutely that little red thing of fate yeah it has multiple uses kira, kira, kira. and what are is he saying in these speech bubbles um yashiro sore wa dame kaiste so that that's bad uh give it back perfect and we'll find out the details of this strange object next time. <laughs> well, that's it. Um, any questions or comments? Um, no, that was that was great. Thank you so much for coming, even though I was the only one here. <laughs> well, normally I would do the whole time, but I had something um else to do, so I'm like, ah, oh, I'm yeah, just one person. Awesome.